Jackson stays in the gun. Howard showing blitz, backing off of it. Jackson shoots the deep ball out there on the money for a diving catch. It's on the pickup. You can tell Josh Jackson is a veteran quarterback. He's had play time. He underthrew a long ball earlier in the game, and now he corrects himself as a quarterback and puts one right on. Near the bottom of the 14-team Big Ten. McFarland in the backfield with Jackson. He'll zing this one right on target. Darrell Jones in a foot race. Jones sprinting, just caught from behind. Racing to make the tackle the Viper. Josh Jackson to Darrell Jones. Sits in there with pressure again in his face. What an impressive throw, and look at Jones. All the maturity they brought, the pedigree they brought, is really going to help this Maryland squad. Moore's punt hangs up in the air. DJ Turner from the 40. Inside the Howard 30. Dashing down that sideline. All the way. Touchdown, DJ Turner. Yeah, usually when your punter doesn't get enough air time, catches it on the run, makes the first man miss, and look at Turner go. Big hole on the left side there. Easy touchdown. Moore's punt hangs up. Special teams coordinator Chuck John Papuchis, who, who works a lot with the inside linebackers, too, has to be thrilled with the way that developed. Yeah, he has to be a good blocking up front. He might be not only in the backfield, but outside in time in their offense in a slot or a wide receiver position. Tyrell Pigram to throw. Pigram puts some air under this one. Demas all alone. Dante Demas, touchdown. Breaking the tape at the goal line there. The sprint continues 62 yards. Just had him beat by five yards. Good. Takes his steps, plants, pitches, throws. Perfect throw. Kept him in stride the whole way, Joe. Comfortable punting time now for Isaiah Moore. Not a lot of room there as he tiptoes the end line. Blocked! The punt is blocked. Skied in the air. Cross comes down with it. It's going to be ruled a safety. The recovery was made out of bounds. Therefore, it is a safety. Nice job putting your hands out straight instead of high. Much of put his hands out straighter there to get the block. Taught by all special teams coaches. Put it out in front of you to get the block. John Papuchis is the special teams coordinator for the Terps. And Cross was trying to play wide receiver. to Daryl Jones and a touchdown saving tackle by Andre Sisco but a big gain by the Turks absolutely go back to the big throw excellent job linebackers come up they see run Josh Jackson Maryland with a full complement of timeout still remaining a little quarter blitz McFarlane made the catch broke through a tackle McFarlane Giving him all that smoke inside the 10 yard line. Andrew Armstrong doesn't bring enough. Arm tackles aren't going to work against Anthony McFarlane as he runs through arm tackles and runs past defenders. Running backs on the field right now for Maryland. And off. Leak eviscerates the defense and he's gone. Leak. Touchdown, Maryland. They have a running back here, running back here, running back here. Okay, so now they have to adjust the defense. I want you to take a look at the safety that comes down, completely missed the tackle, and then it's off to the races for Javon Leak. You're not going to catch him in the open field. I love the creativity of the formation, the personnel grouping. Of course, the birthplace of college football right here at Rutgers University. Opening drive here for Maryland, slant pattern, first play from scrimmage, it is Jackson to Dante Timas. Wow, what a start. 80 yards for the Terps, but there's a flag down on the field. Well, that's how you build confidence. It's an RPO. Josh Jackson makes the right decision, has the one-on-one -on -one matchup there that he likes. And once Dante Dimas catches that, he is pulling away from Jarrett Paul, and no one on Rutgers is catching him. Blocker with a tailback. Yeah, but... you line up under center even. And using the shotgun formation on fourth and one, Javon Leak. Cuts left, goes right. Leak, it's a big one as he leaks out for the touchdown. touchdown. 
two yards for Javon Leak. In this game and all season has lived on the big play. This is a simple power play out of the gun. And you see that speed. Defensive coordinator for Rutgers, Andy Boo, said he is the fastest guy on that Maryland offense. He wants to redshirt this year. Langan. Here's a floater that's intercepted. Ely. Down the sideline. Ely still going and pushed out. Right about at the one. Through the football, that's why it kind of just popped in the air. You see his arm gets hit. He's not able to follow through. And Ely takes the gift and says, let me get my chance to run with the football. And almost takes it back for six. A 38-yard return. Ayinde Ely, his first interception of the year. There's the hit that he took. Yeah, and that's Shaq Smith again. Made the big play, the big tackle on the fourth down stop. You have a quarterback decide to redshirt, and your running back telling you last night that he's thinking about redshirting. It is Javon Leak fielding the second half kickoff. He's got all kinds of field to use across midfield. Still in bounds. Look at this. No flags. Leak. Zio Campanelli talking about eliminating the big plays. You see our Otter Owners Insurance BTN standout, Javon Leak, dropping the ball, picks it up, and utilizing that speed. And you have to give credit to the blocking on the return unit there. The fact that he drops the ball messes the timing up. It didn't matter. Railing big to Maryland, 34-7. McFarland, he's got some speed. And pushes it. Beats the entire Rutgers. D tripped up. Touchdown. Maryland feeling good. Big plays again to start the second. Drive will start out with a run by Javon Leak. Well, that's what we were talking about. A flag at the end of this play as well as Leak gets it out near the 40-yard line. Everybody huddled in there together, and look at this. Pickram kept it. Fooled everybody, and he's going to go down inside the 20, inside the 10, and all the way in for the Maryland touchdown. Well, BTN standout. By Auto Owners Insurance is Tyrell Pigram. Nice call on the bootleg. I mentioned to use his legs. I thought it'd be a zone replay. Instead, they go under. Takes it again and has a seam up the middle. Javon Lee can fly. He is inside the 20 for the house call. You talk about a big play offense. You see the two linemen pulling around. That's a counter where Javon Leak starts to his right, follows those linemen, and with a guy with this type of speed. Wanted to get into these manageable third down situations by doing good work on first and second down, and they've done that so far. Plenty of time for Pegram taking a shot down the sideline to Dante Demas. Big first down pickup and a bunch of yards for Maryland. Look at the time to sort of play with things, even without the timeout right now. How about a deep shot? Looking for Bateman, and picked off by Lewis. Lewis takes himself into the end zone, so Marcus Lewis gets by a lineman in Schluter. Lewis keeps his feet. It's a slow motion chase, and down he goes at the 46. I think he was tired. He was, he was covering. Bateman down the field. Now he makes the pick. This is a long run now. Yeah. So he's already gone 50. And now he's got to go back another 50 and across the field. He doesn't kick it in high gear. He's like, I just got to get to the sideline, man. And they go no matter what here. That's Leak on a big run down the sideline. Leak is inside the five. Houghton took him down. It's a gain of 33. Out there, he reads it perfectly. You misfit, Rod. If you misfit against Maryland, look out because they have four weeks. He only has about two, two and a half. Down the sideline. Beautiful ball dropped in nicely. And this could go. Fleet Davis, touchdown.
And that has not happened. Neither of those things have happened in the Harbaugh era. They'll get another crack against Ohio State November 30th in Ann Arbor. Here's Javon Leak from Maryland finds a seam. Looking for a big play down the sideline. Javon Leak. There are no flags. 97 yard touchdown. I told you, we're going to see two 97 yard <laughs> kick return scores today. That doesn't happen. Wow. Remember we were saying it was a great day for Chris Partridge and the special teams yes. coordinator for Michigan? Well, now that just took a little bit of a, yeah. of a notch there. <laughs> I give one, I get one back. Great blocking, too. He pressed it to the left side and then cut back to the right. You know, Barrett, number 23 for Michigan, he's the one that was running free. Had a chance to get him down on the ground initially. Stepping up, injured, kind of I know I'm not making the trip, and Wandale Robinson. A lot of room up the middle. This guy can speed away, and he does. Levon Leak all the way for the touchdown. He led the conference and runs over 30. It's just a draw. You're able to get up to the second level on the linebacker, and once he hits downhill on a safety, you have no chance. They're in a Spartan territory for the first time today now as they're into the final minute of this opening quarter. And again looking to throw. Looking deep up the sideline. Demas is there. Touchdown, Maryland. Two plays after the second interception of the day. At his six foot three, 200 pounds, he's going against Shakur Brown, the corner at 5'10", 183, and just runs right by him. This Michigan State defense at times this year has had trouble stopping big plays, particularly against bigger wide receivers. We saw it against Illinois with their wide receiver, Amata Bebe. You got your gloves on, right, John? It's, uh, it's brisk. <laughs> McFarlane here on first down, bouncing it outside. Now trying to accelerate to the 40. Does he have the speed to the 20? And the 10, he's going to score. Touchdown, Maryland. It's the strong side linebacker on the right side of your screen. Watch number 45. He ends up folding to the outside. He's there to make a play, but Anthony Farland just McFarland just outruns him to the outside and runs away from the entire Michigan State defense. And that is now the 14th touchdown since the making his first seven of the year. So it's been a little more inconsistent as the season has gone on. McFarland on first down. He's going to cut it back. Escapes Willick. He's trying to get him from behind. Can he rip off another? Not quite. He's going to be down around the 30. Xavier Henderson, second time tonight. Well, Anthony McFarland has shown a burst in the open field. Great blocking on the outside by the wide receivers on the defensive backs.